Okie dokie. First feeding in the new tank, guys. Let's see. I'm putting it through this little hole. <laughs> hey, guys. If I can get my hand in there. Ooh, there's a oh, oh. Oops. My bad. I don't know how that's going to work. Oh! Shoot. Well, we got a blooper. All right, let's just take that off. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. We got a blooper today. It's okay. I just try to squeeze it through that little hole, but I guess I'll just leave it like this. See, I gotta put my whole hand in because I don't want them eating at the top, top of the water. If you put it at the very, it scared them too a little bit. So, hey, there you go, sweetie. Yeah. That's it. I'm not putting too much. Just a little. So we'll just, this comes off. See, with a little. I broke it. I didn't break it, but I. <laughs> I took it off. I don't want it to stay off because I want to keep as much water from evaporating as possible. So otherwise, I just leave it off. But I'll have to just take it off whenever I feed them. There we go. Scared the heck out of them. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. So, anyways, that was a catastrophe. Trying to feed them in their new tank and make them calm. And I just scared the heck out of them. So, yes, I said heck. I'm not going to say any bad words. Anyways, because I don't do that. But I just want to emphasize I scared them, and um, that's the reason why I said it. But that's their first feeding in the new place. And I only gave them a little, as you noticed. Before I was dumping it in. But you don't want to dump it because when you do that, uh, then... Uh, that's when the problems begin. And I'm glad I caught them. Hopefully I caught them on time. Because we don't want a lot of, um, a lot of mess in here. Um, I was gonna say too, um, tomorrow we'll give them peas and I'll take out a little bit of the water. I'm gonna continue with my, well, I don't know. I'm thinking I'll take a little bit of the water out just until they get really acclimated to their tank. Not a lot, just a little bit. Can you see them? Now keep an eye on the gray one because supposedly he's supposed to change colors into a totally different one. I'm glad I saw that because I'd be looking in the tank and be like, who? Replace my blue gray Aranda because <laughs> they changed to a drastic yellow, like a lemon yellow with white body. Now, can you imagine coming back home and then you see it change like that? I just did a little research on these babies. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you the first feeding and uh, how it went. And they're see how they're just searching, but they're over on the good side because unless everybody's up all night, they should. Um, let's see. Let me get this side. There they go. They should get pretty good um, sleep. You know. And yes, if you're just noticing and you didn't look at the other video, yes, I know that one has ammonia burn, and she got that when I put her in the tiny tank to wait for this one to get ready. I actually put them in here probably earlier than what I really wanted to, but the tank was so tiny, I just didn't want it. I need more damage to come to her. And I don't want any damage from her here either, so I'm just praying that everything goes well for her and all of them, because I want them to have a nice area to swim. And we'll try and see if, which ones are boys, which ones are girls, if they're all girls, if they're all boys. But I'm thinking that gray one is a boy. 
And the orange ones, I think, are girls. I think. I'm not positive. But, anyways, I'm going to get my little net and swoop out whatever I can find in here. And the poop. But I was going to tell you, too, it is going to rain, I think. At least it looks like it is. It feels good. It was so hot today. I'm like, give us some rain, please. I'm hoping. Because I had to water the grass a little bit yesterday because it was so dry. And everything has been really dry outside. But we could use a little bit of rain. Um... They talk about April and the, the way it's supposed to give us showers. You know, there's certain things that each year gives, but it's just been so bizarre lately. But, hey guys, they just walk from one tank, part of the tank to the other when they see a big person because they just think, oh, there's food. <laughs> but I shouldn't have started feeding them like I did because it's like they really are used to that, but... And I feel like I'm starving them now, but I'm not. And I feel bad, but they look like they're fine. You know, they're not starving. If they were, I just feed them like a couple of times a day, just a little bit, so they don't get too much at once. That way they have some food throughout the day. That's what I was planning on doing, but I thought if I feed them once, then, you know, that'll last them. But they're always looking for something and I, I know you can't overfeed them you're not supposed to so I just make sure I give them a little bit throughout the day the babies are so cute but I don't want them hungry and I don't want them overfed either so just keeping an eye on them and seeing what I'm watching their behavior and I'm trying to, to really study them and see this is how they are when they have plenty. Because my other ones, the Aranda over there, they just chill out, you know, not the Aranda, but the Comet. I've been giving them food like that and they have left food in the, in the tank. So I think I just was making sure they have plenty and they can go get it later. So I'm going to try a different thing. They have this like this paste stuff that you can put in there and they can kind of like nibble on it throughout the evening. And I'm going to try that too. I'm just thinking of different things because my my other ones, the comments, the the other ones, they just kind of like have a different behavior whenever they're they've had enough to eat. They you can tell, but these you can't really tell too much because they are constantly moving. So I'm not really positive when they're full. Because even whenever I was dumping the food in there like that, they were doing what they're doing right now until time for bed. Then they go to lay down about midnight. You know how fish sleep. That's what they do about midnight. But if you go in there and cut the light on, they will be busy just like they are right now. So I got to study them so I can see their pattern and that way I'll have it down so that they can be comfortable you know have plenty of food and so forth you know have plenty of food and um, be comfortable not hungry I just want them to enjoy their little environment I want to be able to enjoy them and um, not have them uncomfortable you know what I mean I want to watch them because I want to see which ones are the boys and which ones are the girls if I have some little fishies that would be cool if they have some fishies that would be really really cool I think it would be cool I don't know what I would do because you have to put them separate <laughs> you can actually separate this tank there's a it's so long you can put a little divider there and put them in there on the on another side seriously so I might have to get something like that if that happens or you know aren't they adorable so anyways I'm getting ready to it's cooled down 
it's really nice. It was in the 90s today, but here in sunny, sunny California, that's not unusual. But um, I'm getting ready to start working on the teddy bear again. It's the cutest little thing, and I want to get it done. So, um, but I'm intrigued by these little guys. Um, I want to get time and study them and each of them and see what each one is doing, how their behavior is, um, which would help me in seeing how hungry or how non-hungry they are. Because they say they all they always can eat, but there's a time when they calm down and they are just going crazy right now because I just put that food in there. I just want to get them calm and study them so I can make sure they're not doing anything crazy, you know, like just acting extra hungry and they're not. They're pretty big fish, so they probably could eat a good helping. So I'm going to get the net and kind of swish around because I see pieces dropping and you know there's uh, poop in there and you don't want to leave it in there. I got that plant up there. I took it my last big biggest piece out of my plant because um, I have some in the other one and it seemed to really help the tank out a lot with the nitrates. So Anyways, um, I'll upload the video when I'm done with the bear. I'm going to work on the little sweater. It's going to be cute. I got buttons and things. and um, Anyways, I'm just in that mood where I'm like excited to work on it, but I'm not really ready to start on it because when I sit down, I'm going to just go through it and not stop. Anyways, let me go get my net. Okay, so I'm gonna put this big net in here and swoosh around so I can get any kind of poo-poos. Hi guys. Look at I'm trying to eat my hands. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'll get it down sooner or later. Let me pull it back a little so you can see them. Hey. Just really get it good. So anyways, um, look out for the video, please, and you'll see about the watermelon. I was so ready to eat a nice, juicy, sweet watermelon. But this one didn't come out sweet. And it tells you on the video how you can handle that situation. Now, this is going to be tricky. I think I can move it with the plant in it. Just move it over like that. Because I don't want to have to every time take that plant out. So I'll just take this and push around on this side. Just get whatever I can out of here. Hi, babies. Hi. Hi. They're just nibbling on my hand. I'm the hunger. I'm the, uh, what do you call it? My hand is the food. They love my hand. Okay, I'm watching you guys. I'll make sure you're not hungry, okay? All right, everybody. Um, so look for the video. I should have that bear. One of them done anyways. I'm starting on the other ones.